ABC News, the country's premier news brand, where Americans go to see the whole picture. Together with Yahoo News, the world's number one news site on the web, this is America's number one digital news source. Hello to our fans online. I'm Sunny Hostin. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Monday. There is a possible big breakthrough on immigration. A bipartisan group of senators has agreed to a comprehensive reform plan. The so-called Gang of Eight plan unveiled today includes a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants now in the U.S. The lawmakers also want enhanced border security. The president's plan on immigration will be introduced tomorrow. More than 230 people, most of them very young, have died in a terrible nightclub fire in a university town in Brazil. Investigators say most of the victims died from smoke inhalation. There are reports that bouncers blocked the single exit as the panicked crowd tried to leave. The town's mayor has declared 30 days of mourning as families make burial arrangements. Retailers in 10 states can now charge extra fees when shoppers pay with a credit card. The so-called swipe fees come after a class action suit that allows stores to pass along to consumers the fees credit card companies charge them. The fees apply to MasterCard and Visa credit cards, but important note here, it does not apply to debit cards. Five alleged 9-11 plotters are set to appear in a courtroom at Guantanamo Bay today as four days of preliminary hearings get underway. Among the defendants expected to be in court today is the alleged mastermind of 9-11, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. About two dozen defense and prosecution motions will be argued in this week's hearings. All the defendants are facing the death penalty. And here's some evidence that they are getting a little crazy from the cold out in Madison, Wisconsin. A guy just set a new world record for doing the fastest motorcycle wheelie on ice. He was cl clocked in at 108 and a half miles an hour, riding on just his rear wheel. It's all possible because the rear wheel has special studs on it to keep it from slipping. The rider broke his own record, 95 miles an hour, which he set just last year. Hmm. Better he. Than I. Yes, it looks a little dangerous. <laughs> well done. <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Sunny Hostin. I'm Rob Nelson. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.